Educators attending the 2013 Challenger Center Conference in Washington, D.C. took a field trip to the Math Science Innovation Center in Richmond last weekend to explore the latest evolution for the Challenger Learning Centers. It's nice to know similarities between problems, similarities between success, learning new techniques, teaching new techniques, all that kind of stuff. So it's exciting for me. Also, I've never been to the East Coast, so I'm really excited for that, too. Jason Hammond is with the Rubin Fleet Science Center in San Diego. Science itself works works in steps but also works in teams. It also works within your own imagination. You know, you have to think of these problems and figure out creative ways to solve them. A nonprofit group, the Challenger Center was created as a living memorial by the family members of the crew of Space Shuttle Challenger, mission STS-51L, lost as it was launched in 1986. They put together this very fine educational outreach and um, that's what we're doing today is we're offering special lessons that um, might take kids to Mars or possibly the moon or to a comet or even investigate planet Earth. Jim Lehman with the Math Science Innovation Center is flight director. He says the exercise hinges on problem solving and teamwork. They might be doing what seems like a small part of the mission. What data they gather may not seem important to them, but when they put it together with what their teammates have been doing, it really makes a difference, especially when we have something like an emergency take place. And different teams have to work together to come up with a possible solution. They have to collaborate on that and then finally they make a decision and try to accomplish that task. This is the opportunity where the students, when they enter this room, they are, we suspend reality and they're transported into space. They walk out of here and they understand how science works. They appreciate what they've done because they get to contribute. They're part of a team here and they become a hero for the day. They get to solve problems and they get to be part of the whole group that solves an, an, a mission, they solve an issue, um, and so they see a lot of value. Kathleen Meehan Coop is the Vice President for Education with the Challenger Center, which supports 42 Challenger Learning Centers across the globe. In Richmond, they're launching new software for the simulators. When you get kids excited, they're doing hands-on, it's place-based, it's project-based, and they actually can see a real-world application getting beyond the textbooks. Students do get it. The mission of the Challenger Center is to inspire a child's interest and imagination along STEM curricula, science, technology, engineering, and math. People do these things all the time, every day of the year, and that if you want to do the similar thing, because it's always very fun to the students, you need to have a science background and have science literacy or engineering literacy. These kids are very impressionable. Um, we try to cure them of thinking that fantasy is reality. We bring them back to reality and show them how it's a lot of hard work, but that hard work is worth it. We are trying to educate students to get them excited about going into the STEM fields and understanding that science is exciting. It's not just a lab coat, um, that you are involved with it every day in our lives. And even if you don't become a scientist, you need to be science literate. John Ogle, WCVE News.